What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm back with another video. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button if you're new. And I'm going to continue to bring you content. Uh, today's topic is making the band two. Um, and pretty much, man, I just really believe that Diddy should do another making the band. Another, like, the hip-hop R&B group that he did. Uh, back in 2003 when he did Making the Band 2. And the reason I brought up Making the Band 2 because I think Making the Band 2, I think, in my opinion, was the best. It's, it was the best one. They might not have been the most successful group, but I think that was the best Making the Band uh, show and season that they put out. You know, um, I, this season is what got everybody watching Making the Band. This is what got everybody watching Making the Band and you know, I grew up on it. It was, you know what I'm saying? It was around the time I started watching t reality TV. That's when reality TV was really getting big, you know, and starting up. This was before Flavor of Love and all that. You had MCV with, with The Real World. They had, like, Laguna Beach and all these other different shows. But making the band, this was the second season. They had another group before this. I think it was, like, a boys pop group. I didn't really watch that one too much. But I did start watching Making the Band 2. It just caught my attention with the hip-hop element, uh, R&B element. And really, with, when Diddy started this, he was just, he pretty much, he was doing it, he was doing any group. I mean, any type of style. He, Everybody to audition, he didn't care what you did. He just said, come to the auditions. Whatever you can do, we're going to make us a, a group. You know what I'm saying? It was people playing uh, the guitar. People were singing, rapping. It was whatever. He... For making the band season two, he said it's whatever, you know what I'm saying? But he took all the styles that was in the group was pretty much hip hop, R and B, and you had reggae. You know, making the band two really was it was any style. It wasn't just uh hip hop or R and B or reggae. He he wanted Diddy didn't care whether it was rock or whatever. He wanted any style to make this group. But like I said, it came down to you got the reggae style of Dylon, then you got um the hip hop style, and you got the R and B, Sarah Stokes, and you got of course the rappers, Babs, Ness, uh, Chopper, and Fred. So I just wanted to talk about it because one of the best seasons making the band two, especially season two, season one. I mean, it's and this show is so hard to find on the internet. Some guy put up. He put up some of the episodes of season two. I think he put the whole season two on YouTube. Um, but I'm just, I'm surprised that like MTV ain't released like the actual seasons. They got like the best of season one, which you see right here, the best of season one. I mean, I done seen this, but I want to, I wish they would have like the whole season to sell it on like Blu-ray or something. Let people be able to go back and watch this because a lot of people, they want to go back and watch it, and they can't. It's very difficult to do it. But my thing is, should Diddy do another one? You know, with this time, you know, he ain't did a making the band in a while. He did Day 26 and Diddy came, you know. So I think he should go back to the to the roots, man. Because this is, like I said, this season is what made people start watching making the band anyway, you know. This was a crazy show. I mean, you go back when you go back and watch the show after watching it for like since you, you know what I'm saying, you was probably growing up watching this shit and you didn't really know too much, but like when you go back and watch it, you'd be like, "Damn, these these were some young cats, man. They didn't really know too much, you know. They was immature. Uh and they didn't know a lot. They were signing contracts and shit. They couldn't agree with each other, arguing all the time and all this stuff. I mean, he had some young cats. Chopper was only like 18. I think Fred was like 19, 20 or something in his 20s. Uh, Ness was in his 20s, I think. Sarah, she was in her 20s. And Babs also in Dylon. So these were some young cats, man. And you put them all in the house. I mean, it was reality TV at its finest. You know, plus the music element. It was so entertaining. You know what I'm saying? It was very entertaining. Seeing some, some uh, kids from the hood try to make it in this hip-hop game, man. You know... It was one of the, my favorite shows, and everybody, even when when making the band, and when it when it ended, making the band two, when he did season three, you know, after they made the album, they couldn't 
click. They couldn't get together. Dialogue wasn't showing up. Fred wasn't showing up. The group was just not functioning. And, I, and actually, after watching it again, you know, I feel though Diddy already knew this was going to happen. You know, he knew that this group wasn't going to stay together. They couldn't click, you know. They was a very talented group, but they just couldn't click. But they had so much potential, man. If this group would have stayed together, they had a lot of potential. A lot of potential, man. They didn't live up to their full hype, man. But a great group. And I wish he would do another one, man. I wish he would do another one. Uh, I think he would do great numbers. And I think he would bring a lot of people out, man. He Diddy came out and was like, I'm going to do another making the band, another hip-hop, R&B, reggae, whatever group. I'm trying to put together five to six members. Uh, I think it would do numbers. You know, people will be talking about it. He can come to all the cities and do just like he did before. You know what I'm saying? But hopefully he'll learn he, from making the band too. You know, trying to get, make sure they set some boundaries and stuff. And But if he gets some young people, regardless, it's still going to be neg- a lot of negativity and immaturity because they're young. But I really think they, they should bring back another hip-hop R&B making the band. Similar to like making the band too, I really do. That shit was so fun, man. This, I mean, a show like that was just crazy. These he would have them just battle rap in the uh in the, in the dining room. He'd bring everybody in there like he'd like battle rap, have everybody battle rap each other, go at it. You know what I'm saying? It was so competitive just to even make the band. Like season one was crazy, really. I actually season one actually kind of was better than season two, you know, because it was like. You know what I'm saying? That struggle to get to the band. Then season two, I mean, yeah, they had fights and stuff. But I wish they would put out season one at least. You know what I'm saying? Let people buy this and relive it. Because it's very hard to find. I used to actually take the, take the show back in the day. But you know how that is, man. I don't know where these my VCR tapes is at. But I used to actually take making the band. But let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all think Diddy should bring back making the band. You know what I'm saying? Um, I I do. I really hope he do. I hope that. I think that would be a good idea. I mean, f- far as what I know, a lot of them are actually doing their own little things. Uh, I actually seen Ness uh, in Miami uh, like a few years ago. Uh, I went to Miami for Memorial Day weekend, and you know how crazy it is down there. It be every it be so many black people down there. It's crazy, but I see Ness just walking on. Uh, on Ocean, you know what I'm saying, with some chick. I ain't even run up and say nothing to him. He was just enjoying himself. But as far as I know, everybody's doing okay. I know Chopper was doing very well. He's living out in Las Vegas. Uh, he he still does he still does music, got his own thing going. And I mean, I think everybody else is doing okay. I mean, I'm not for sure. Uh, that's maybe some something I can look into. But I know for sure Chopper is doing good. And I think I heard that Dylon is actually doing okay. He's doing his little music thing. But I don't know, man. They never reached a peak, man. They could have been one of the best groups of that era, I think, at least. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Do y'all want to see another making the band, uh, another making the band, hip-hop, R&B, similar to making the band, too? Make sure you subscribe, like the video, leave your comments below, and let me know what y'all think of it, man. But it's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.